Well, the Agres project arises out of the idea of using pruning residues from three main crops in Italy, namely vines, and here in Italy we have uh, almost uh, 600,000 hectares uh, with vines, using them for energy purposes without burning them on the field or shredding them, but using them for energy purposes. The University of Tusha, that is Viterbo, Udine and Ayel from Padua are part of this project. Ayel includes all producers and, manuf- and users of wood. And the project is funded by the Ministry of Agricultural and Forestry forestry policies. The basic idea was to provide farmers with with a whole system starting from the collection of these residues. So far, these residues were either burned um, or shredded. Then there was a law stating that you cannot burn on fields anymore. There was a subsequent derogation to this law, but uh, basically burning residues on the field implies that fine particles are generated with a problem of air pollution. So the idea was to provide farmers with a whole system starting from the collection sites down to the boilers, providing them with information on which machines should be used on the collection and processing costs. Basically, residues are converted into pellets, briquettes, or biscuits. Then information on how to to cost effectively burn these products into the boilers. Then we've also carried out an analysis of fumes. Not all boilers, not all byproducts are non-polluting. The basic idea is to ensure economic sustainability so that the whole system is self-supported and also environmental sustainability so that the entire line is feasible, both from the point of view of air pollution and also from the energy standpoint. Now we have a derogation to the law whereby you can burn the residues on the field. If farmers um, cannot burn, um, of course, um, everyone would be forced to thinking of collecting the residues. There's an an environmental benefit and also an economic benefit in all this. The big problem is that individual uh, businesses uh, don't find it cost effective, but you have a minimum surface area available, for example, 50 or 40 or 50 hectares vineyards for the collection to be convenient. Otherwise, you have to rely on contractors' consortia. They have been established already, and they collect free of charge. There's a benefit to the farmers. We calculated that collecting more or less uh, all the residues uh, of uh, vineyards, uh, olive trees, and hazels, the three main crops we've analyzed, one could heat uh, 300,000 houses, or at least uh, 200,000 houses, residential buildings uh, in Italy. Well, perhaps it's a drop in the sea, but the sea is made up of different drops. So the idea of using this um, energy is quite exciting.